Quick, like and subscribe for insane luck in every game. Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm back making another video and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys the top 10 tips to get better at rivals. All of these things are really important and even if you're a pro player, you're probably not thinking about every single thing that I'm about to say in this video. I wasn't even thinking about all these things, I did a bunch of research, watched tons of other top players, and pretty much combined all of their tips and tricks into one video. So these are the 10 most important things you need to know about rivals if you want to get better. So the very first thing is your crosshair. As you can see, this is what my crosshair looks like. You want a very easy to see crosshair on most maps. You don't want it to get in the way. So I'll show you my crosshair settings. If you want to see them real quick, I'm just going to scroll through very slowly. These are all of my crosshair settings. But as you can see, I'm not using the top of the crosshair so that it's easier to see people's heads. And then I have the dot in the middle thicker than the lines on the sides. And the reason for that is you want to be aiming the dot right on their head. And if you have that line on top, it's just harder to see their head. So in my opinion, this makes my aim a lot better having a good crosshair it's one of the most important things obviously it's all preference you don't have to take the line off the top you don't have to have a dot in the middle just make a crosshair that works good for you and the second thing that i want to talk about is your settings there's a lot of different settings that i need to go over so first things first I would disable shadows and turn off music. This just makes it a little easier to see, a little easier to hear, obviously. And then you want to also have auto sprint and easy slide on. And then also find a good camera sensitivity. I'm using 800 DPI, 0.15 camera sensitivity in the Roblox app. Also, make sure your frame rate is up to the hertz of your monitor so that you can have high frames. But then, yeah, I'm also using 0.8 camera sensitivity with 800 DPI and 0.15 in Roblox. I'm also only using 105 camera FOV. I don't think that it's actually beneficial to use 120. I would recommend between like 90 and 105. I personally like 105, but if you turn your FOV up way too high, it'll be really, really hard to actually see people that are far away if you're not aiming. So you actually don't need your camera super, super wide in most situations if you have good crosshair placement and you're paying attention to where the enemy is. You don't need to see all the way around you and be super zoomed out. And then obviously camera FOV effects off, camera shake off, and you can even turn off damage numbers if you find them getting in the way of your aim. You don't want to be staring at the numbers as you're shooting somebody, so if the numbers distract you, I would turn this off. It's useful to have the numbers on in a lot of scenarios. Just pay attention to your crosshair. Have your eyes on your crosshair and have good crosshair placement. Sorry, there's lots of settings that I have to go through. This second tip is going to take a minute. But make sure you have an easy melee key. And also don't have slide as C. Have slide as control or you can put it on shift. And every time you're sprinting around, you're sliding around at the same time. Because you want to be sliding a lot in this game to make it hard for you to be hit. Or you'll just get beamed if you're walking around like a noob. But yeah, these are the rest of my settings if you want to see the rest. I just had to explain the most important ones, in my opinion, that'll help you play way better. Okay, and then tip number three is movement. So this is why I had to talk about settings first, because one of the settings, like C for sliding, you can't press D if your pointer finger is off of D. So you can't run to the right if you're sliding with C. So if you're sliding with C, you can kind of like only slide to the left, and it's really, really awkward trying to slide to the right when you're using your pointer finger to slide and to move right. It just doesn't work. But in terms of movement, you want to be sliding and jumping around a lot. So when I'm jumping around a corner like this, I want to be sliding while I'm shooting. If you just stay a stationary target like this, you're going to get beamed in the head. 
So movement is really important in this game. If you aren't moving around properly, you're just gonna get beamed. You gotta learn how to move fluently and constantly slide around while you're fighting. That's one of the reasons you have auto sprint and easy slide on. Okay, so the fourth tip is your crosshair placement, and this directly correlates with the third tip about movement. You want to have your crosshair in a good placement. Don't be looking at the floor and then like trying to flick over to people. If you're coming around a corner, don't just come around the corner like this. Come around the corner like this. Peek right on the edge of what you're peeking. So if I'm sliding around a corner like this, I want to already have my crosshair where I know the enemy's going to be. And if you don't know where he's going to be, then you have to keep good crosshair placement around every corner. So incorporate your movement with good crosshair placement and you can beam people and make it really hard for yourself to get beamed. If you just come around the corner with good crosshair placement like this and good movement, you're not just sitting still, then it'll make it way harder for somebody to kill you. So just practice all of these things together. Get a good crosshair that you think helps you out a lot. Make sure all your settings are good, and then just practice your movement and your crosshair placement in the training area. And in this game, this isn't one of the 10 tips, but it's just something that I have to throw in there. There's no recoil in this game. So as you can see, my crosshair is not moving. All the bullets are going to the same spot. There's literally no recoil in this game at all. So it's all about movement and aim. So you can strafe around, slide around, and try to hit stuff in the sky. Try to make yourself hard to hit while you're shooting stuff in the sky. As you can see, I clearly haven't practiced this enough. I should be able to beam a bunch of different targets while I'm sliding around like this. Because if somebody's above you beaming straight down on your head, you're at a disadvantage if you don't have good movement and you don't have good aim. So practice shooting stuff up in the air. Practice against these dummies sliding around a corner like this. Okay, and then tip number five is melee. So there's a few different melee weapons. My favorites are the scythe and the katana. The trowel is also pretty good in some situations. If you have it, like you can put some blocks up on top of the little platform in front of your ramp and arena. And then you can peek people on the right side without getting sniped from the left side from the opposing team's ramp. So you can use the trowel for a lot of things. But in my opinion, you really want to use the scythe. Now, if somebody has like cheats and they are auto shooting or something, then whip out the katana. But yeah, your melee weapons are super good. And let me just show you a quick tip. So my quick melee is E and F. So I can hit either one of those and it'll just melee, as you can see, with my gun out. But if you quick let melee and then right click, then you don't have to like pull out your scythe and then right click and then go back to a gun. That's a big waste of time. You can literally just slide around, do a little slide, melee dash. You can incorporate it all together and it pulls your gun right back out. So I'm going to slide, melee dash, just like that. And like I said, you can do the exact same thing with the katana. You're in the middle of a fight. You can just melee right click and it'll pull the katana out and instantly go back to your gun when the katana is done blocking. So if you're using your melees wrong, pulling them out like this and then going back to your weapon, there's way too much time before the block and after the block that you're going to get beamed. So just go like this, block, instantly start shooting. You literally just quick melee and then right click to quickly use your melee and it'll instantly go back to your gun. It's super useful. And then one more thing in terms of melee, when you quick melee it does 50, but also you can use the scythe to dash in like that. And if you hit them with the end of your dash, it'll still do 50. So you can come around a corner, there's somebody right here, dash into him, and instantly start beaming him before he even knows what's happening. So that's pretty much how you use the two most important melees, the scythe and the katana. And then tip number six is your loadout. So the best weapons in the game are the most simple ones. You do not need a minigun, you do not need a flamethrower or a paintball gun or a grenade launcher. I'm telling you right now, assault rifle, burst rifle, sniper, shotgun, they're all really good. I would only use the shotgun on like back rooms or something though. Yeah, the burst rifle, it does 20 to the body 
and 30 to the head. So you want to use the burst rifle at a range and you want to incorporate the movement and crosshair placement. The burst rifle is so good if you incorporate good movement and crosshair placement. You can hit two bursts to someone's head and they're dead. You don't even ha have to hit the full two bursts. Five bullets to the head and they're dead. So the burst is really good for range. If people are pushing you really close, I would probably use the assault rifle. But the burst is really, really good at range. You don't want to use the burst when people are pushing you, necessarily. And then for the secondary weapon, the Uzi, the handgun, and the revolver are all really good. You do not need the exo gun or the slingshot. And then in terms of your fourth slot, you either want to use grenade or medkit. You can use subspace trip mine to launch yourself up in the sky. You could use Molotov or flashbang, but to be honest, medkit is probably number one and grenade is a really close second. If you can use your grenade efficiently more than half of the time. So if you can hit your grenade at least like three rounds out of five, then it's better to use grenade. But yeah, switch your loadout up depending on what the other player's doing. If you are using the burst rifle and trying to hit some, some easy damage with peaks like this, but they're just rushing you and flying in the sky with a slingshot or something, then I would change over to the AR. And then for the seventh tip, now that we talked about different loadouts and how to counter other people's loadouts and change yours in between rounds, now we got to talk about playing smart because the whole reason you would need to change your loadout because of someone else's is because you're trying to counter them. You want to play smart. You want to counter them and not do the same thing every round because then they're going to start countering you. You got to play smart, make different plays. If you get hit with a grenade on the ramp, don't go to the ramp again next round. But if he starts playing real smart and he throws the nade on the other side, then maybe you want to completely switch it up and just rush. If, the, if he's trying to cook nades and get free damage in the beginning, you might want to just make a quick little play and just rush him like this. So yeah, don't do the same thing over and over. And if your enemy's doing the same thing over and over, take advantage of it. If they're over on ramp every round sniping, then get a grenade in your loadout, hit them for 75, and then rush over there and spray them down. And then number eight is reloading. Some people know about this, and some people are about to say, what are you talking about reloading? I know how to reload, but even the people that know what I'm talking about, there's multiple ways to do this. So as you can see, when I reload, there's a big animation with bullets, and then there's an animation with a timer. The animation with the timer is completely, like, useless. Let me show you. I can reload and switch back, and I still haven't reloaded. But if I reload and switch back as soon as I see that timer, it did reload. So you can cut your reload time in half. Let me just shoot, switch back. So you can do that by switching to another gun and switching back, but a better way is using your melee, to be honest. So if I just melee dash, you can use your movement and get right back into the fight and you reloaded so quick the other player is probably going to get caught off guard thinking that you're still reloading. But no, you reload in like one second, dash, and start beaming. That easy. So the way I quick dashed is I just hit my quick melee and then right clicked and like look how much less time it is to reload. Oh, I messed that up a little because I got stuck on the wall, but y you get the point. If you combine all these tips together... Oh, I'm out of ammo. Yeah, if you combine all these tips together, it'll help a lot. And then for the final two tips, this is a little bit less about, like, super specific stuff. So for number nine, what you want to do is play a lot and play calm. The biggest problem a lot of people have with improving is they want to improve really quickly. They want to watch a video and then practice for 10 minutes and instantly be five times as good. It's not going to happen like that. If you incorporate all the tips in this video, you'll instantly be better. But you have to practice all these tips. You have to practice reloading, quick dash, 
getting your crosshair placement on, doing good movement, playing smart, countering the other player's loadout. You have to be doing all these things at once, and you don't just learn it like that. You have to practice all these things together if you want to actually get good. So you have to play a lot and you have to play calm. Don't get mad all the time if you're losing. And if you're losing a ton, don't just spam matchmaking if you're super scared about your win rate or whatever. Matchmaking is skill-based matchmaking. But if you're just trying to get better and you don't care about your win rate because it doesn't really matter, then spam matchmaking because there's skill-based matchmaking and as you get better, you'll go against better players. You have to play a lot and you have to play calm. You can't get super mad every time you lose. I've been losing a lot more than usual lately because I've been playing a ton of matchmaking and I keep going up against like level 200 pros with 90 something percent win rates. They have like a thousand wins and that's fine. I lose to those players sometimes. They beat me by a round or two because they just have way more practice. I'm still pretty new to this game, but I've played shooter games for a long time and I, I just have to get used to this specific game. I got to get used to these specific mechanics and get my movement down good. I got to get my crosshair placed down good and I literally just recently changed my camera sensitivity this isn't one of the 10 tips but I'm just throwing in some more bonus things as I think of it but yeah a good way to test your sensitivity is see how much you're over flicking so I'm gonna try to flick from this to this target like back and forth so actually I'm under flicking a little bit now because I was used to my higher sensitivity but with my higher sensitivity I was going like this I was like flicking way past stuff and my sense was too high so you want to find a good in the middle where you can have accurate crosshair placement like this and you don't really move very far off of stuff you want to be able to like run around jump around and keep your crosshair on something as good as you can and then for the final 10th tip that I wrote down, I, I know that I've given a lot more than 10 tips because as I think of it, I'm just saying it. But listen closely. There's a lot of sounds in this game. So this actually is a pretty specific tip. There's a lot of sounds in this game. You can hear people going ch -ch -ch if they're starting off with a sniper. You can hear people starting up their chainsaw if they're about to chainsaw and slide up the ramp. So if they're about to do that, get yourself to a good position. Slide around a corner and beam them out of the sky. There's a lot of sounds that you can hear. You can hear when somebody's popping a med kit. You can hear when somebody starts a reload. So if they start a reload, just hop around the corner just real quick and start beaming them. There's a lot of sound effects in this game that you have to pay attention to. So if you want to get better, I would put a headset on and play, pay close attention to sounds. But yeah, those are my 10 tips. I will go over them briefly one more time just in case you guys forgot a thing or two. But these all have to be incorporated together. You have to go to the shooting range and practice and you have to match make against really good players if you're going to improve. That's why my win rate is only 71%. I've been sweating it off against other players that are sweating it off and trying to improve. If I just go into public servers and 1v1 little kids all day and get a 1000 win streak, I mean, it looks cool and all, I got such a big win streak, but it doesn't mean anything if you're just slapping around a bunch of kids that are playing on iPad and they have like a 20% win rate, like, that doesn't mean anything. You have to actually play against good players and practice in the shooting range. Practice all your mechanics together. So all those things that you need to practice, I'm going to go over once again. Your crosshair and your settings have to be down. You got to get good crosshairs and settings and try to stick to them. Get the best crosshair and setting that you can. Mess with it for a little while and get used to it. And once you get used to good settings and mouse sensitivity and a crosshair, once you get all those things set good, you stick with it. You get really, really used to it and you'll get really, really good when you're not changing around settings that you're not used to. You got to build your muscle memory. 
And then the other eight tips is your movement, your crosshair placement, using your melees correctly, switching your loadout, depending on what the other player is doing, playing smart and not doing the same thing yourself so that you don't get countered super hard, reloading properly, and then incorporating that in with like your melee dash into somebody and just instantly start shooting at them again when you reload quick. And then play a lot calmly. You have to play against good players and not get mad when you lose even the best players in the entire world are going to lose games because they're going to be playing against the other best players in the world so no matter how good you are you're going to lose games just keep playing keep practicing and the final tip listen closely have a headset on there's a lot of sound cues in this game for the chainsaw the reloading popping a med kit tons of stuff I mean, the sniper sound when they cock back the bolt, you can literally tell somebody has a sniper before the round even starts because it just makes a noise if you're paying attention to the sound. So yeah, those are my tips. If there's anything that I left out that's really important, please comment it down below. I'll heart the comment so that you guys can get better as well. But yeah, those are my tips. I'm going to take my own advice and get back to practicing because I'm not a pro at this game yet, but I'm getting better and I'm I'm preparing for ranked so when ranked comes out hopefully i got my practice in and you guys do too because of this video if you guys enjoyed or if this video helped you out make sure to hit the like button comment some ideas for more future videos down below and subscribe if you have not already i'll see you all in the next one very soon peace out everybody